a chameleon, master of disguise. Inventor of ambush. Or is it? For down in the flower bed, a blossom may not be quite what it seems. Not everything yellow is part of the fixtures. Unseen, a crab spider blends into the wild flower, almost invisible. And here comes lunch. A fly. The spider waits for the right moment. And in a flash, a hug and a bite, the fly's immobilized. Almost immediately, the flower crab spider's injection of digestive juices goes to work. A meal is better eaten in private, under the petals, away from the eyes of a spider's own predators. Another master of disguise enjoys a vegetarian meal. A neighbor looks on enviously. Spiders can't chew their food or swallow it whole. They eat by pumping digestive juices into their prey and sucking up the resulting soup through their ready-made drinking straws, hollow fangs. Using fangs or mandibles to soften prey speeds up the process, but it will still take quite a while to eat it. The crab spider turns the fly around, checking that all the juicy bits have been had. While his neighbor's appetite is stimulated, Not much fly left now, just a dangling husk sucked dry. But the spider's evening has only just begun. There are bound to be other in-flight meals available. A bee, perhaps? Unsuspecting on a pollen collecting mission. Arms open in a welcoming gesture. fights for its life, but the flower crab spider has carefully maneuvered the stinging end as far away as possible. A male watches. Waiting for lunch to be served. But this is not a meal to be shared. Mm. 
master of deception, inventor of ambush, lunch is served indeed.